Look at the size of that Chunky Chubbs League-approved baseball. It's the size of my dang house. Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews on Gaming and Entertainment. Today we take a quick look at a preview of Grounded by Obsidian Entertainment. A preview is just that, a game that is pretty much in beta and getting feedback from the community. Grounded is the newest game so far from Microsoft Game Studios' newly acquired Obsidian. The game is a survival game that can be played in first or third person who for some unknown reason has been shrunk down to the size of an ant and must survive in the backyard. The preview lets you explore the backyard allowing you to look for food, water and to eventually build shelter. You can analyze things that you find and use them in crafting other items that you might need. You can also play with others in this game online but beware, even the most regular settings does not include friendly fire. A nice option is the choice to make the spiders smaller for those with arachnophobia or the fear of spiders. I do hate spiders but laughed when I saw this choice as I know the difference between real and video game. Once I saw the spiders kill my friend, I ran and was extremely scared. The environment is huge in making you believe in this world. Although childlike visuals, this game can be brutal. We ventured into an ant hole just to explore, not harming any ants, and we were not welcomed and quickly dispatched. You learn early not to offend the bugs or insects as they will knock you out in an instant. Overall, the game takes cues from Sea of Thieves, another online adventure game where all the players are put into the world and what you do for your survival is up to you and your friends. This game so far is promising as you will definitely need to work with others rather than go solo. The visuals and lighting are great and I can't wait to see how this one turns out. That's it for me on this episode on Beho Reviews. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here.